everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel, The Study Home. In our previous video, we looked at differentiation from first principles. Today, we are going to look at the standard results in uh, differentiation. So, we are going to look at a function. In this case, we, it can be in terms of y. Then we look at how it appears in after its derivative dy dx of that function. Then we shall have here an example. So this is just like the general form of how we are going to have these functions and their examples. Such that if you are given a number to differentiate, you can easily relate and then find uh, the answer. Just like how we are going to have here functions, then we see here their derivative, and then we have here an example. So I'm going to list down here the standard forms, and then we go through their differentiation. Now, for example, if you are given a function like x power n, this one could be any number like we are going to have there. If we have this function, uh, its derivative, of course, we get this power, its power comes in front, it multiplies it, and then the power, it reduces by 1, just as you can see there. Let's have an example of such a number. For example, if you have y equals to x power 4, such a number. So we see that this resembles that. Its derivative, it's dy dx, dy dx of this number we say this one comes in front so it will be 4 and then this 4 will reduce 1 minus 1 which is going to be 3x we say 4 minus 1 so this one its final answer becomes 4x power 3 so this is what that rule stands for now we are going to look at sine sin x if you are given such a function the the derivative of sin x is cos cos x example for example you may have y equals to sin let's say 2x of course if you see this this one shall make your answer to be 2 if we find it's dy dx we know that sin itself it will be cos as you can see but then it comes back to 2x, but then this 2 comes in front here, like you can see there. So that is about sine, sine x. Now if we go to cos, for cos x, cos x, its derivative, the derivative of cos, it is negative sine which is sine x. For example, if you are given that y equals to, that differentiate y equals to, let's say cos, cos of 2x. Understand? So its derivative will be dy dx equals, when we differentiate this x, it will become 2 in front, but the cos, remember, the cos is, it becomes minus. So this is sine 2x. Like you can see there. The second general function you should know is the e. For example, you are given e power of x. This one, its derivative, it remains the same as e of x. Here, the example, if the, you are given y equals to e of x, of course, its, its derivative, dy dx, it will remain itself e power x. But if you are given, for example, e and it's having a function up, its derivative, we get the derivative of the power, which is g, its derivative of x, which you see here, but e, this one returns the way it is, g of x. We're going to have an example of that. For example, if you are given that the uh, differentiate y equals to, e 2x squared yeah if you are given such a number its derivative we said dy dx 
as you can see here we were given like this but we differentiated this upper so if you differentiate this remember these two multiplies in front to become four and when you get here four and then remember these two minus one it becomes just one which is x itself so it becomes four x but then e itself as you can see here it comes back so e of so that is how that standard form is so if you can also look at the natural log if you are given also a number having lean of x this one lean of x it's derivative it's just one over one over x for example if you are given for example a differentiate y equals to uh, lean of x of course this this will be dy dx equals to 1 over x that will be the answer now what if for example you are given lean of g x yeah like so so here it's derivative you differentiate this which is g of x divided by the original number let's have an example here for example if you are given as y equals to lean lean of x cubed plus let's say 2x so the derivative of this dy dx of that number will be remember we differentiate the inf the, the forward it becomes the numerator so if we differentiate this one remember this theory this one becomes 3 and then x squared plus of course this one will become just 2 but over remember over g over this one so over this very number cubed plus 2x so those are the standard results which you may be given so thank you so much for watching please share subscribe and like thank you so much